Alright guys, this is Jason from iBog again. Uh, this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to uh, download the Fox 2015 theme for the ATVO program. Uh, what you're going to do first is going to go to iBog.co, uh, click on downloads. From there you're going to see IRTVO and ATVO uh, file links. Go ahead and click on the ATVO link. Uh, you're going to go to theme v2. Uh, you'll download that. Uh, once that's downloaded, uh, it will be in a RAR archive or zip file, basically. Uh, so then from there, that should go onto your desktop. Uh, I've already got mine unzipped since it's me creating it. All right. Then you're going to want to make sure that you have the ATVO actually installed. Uh, you, that's just going to be the ATVO.AppEngineer.in. Uh, you'll download uh, both the ATVO and the theme file creator. Make sure uh, that they're both updated to at least 1.6.4. Uh, from there, uh, once they're up and running, uh, you're going to open up the launcher. Uh, it will look something similar to this. Uh, you're now, uh, go ahead and unzip the file. Uh, you will see uh, something like this. Uh, it will be Fox 2015, uh, ATVO, and README. You're going to open the Fox 2015 folder. Uh, you can either double click this to open it up or you can uh, select editor. Uh, from there it will load the editor. Uh, and then you can uh, file open theme. Uh, and you will select the ATVO theme, so it will be Fox 2015 ATVO.ATVO .ATVO theme. Click open. Uh, you will s it'll take it a moment. Uh, it should come up looking something like this. From there, you're going to click on file, export. Uh, you're going to save it to whatever name you want. Uh, make sure to save it somewhere other than that specific folder. I'm just going to save it on the desktop so it's easy for me to access. Uh, you'll click save. And there's two ways you can get to the ATVO program uh, for the loading of the theme. Uh, you can either open up the launcher again and instead of clicking editor you would click ATVO on the right. Or you can, while you're in the editor, click on ATVO at the top. It will bring that up uh, you will click theme load uh, it'll take that a moment there. oh no sorry it actually went behind uh, you're gonna search uh, now you're going to find exactly where it was that you saved that file click open and load theme uh, from there it will take it a few moments to load uh, it will automatically start with the uh, lap timer, race information, and the top three. Uh, it will also initially start on replay. Uh, what you have to do is go ahead and pause it and fast forward just real quick. Uh, that will bring it back to where it's showing live. Um, then like the Monster Energy Quaker State uh, 400 here. Uh, is going to be a portion that looks like this. So you'll have the Monster Energy Cup, the Quaker State 400 here, and some more information. Uh, when you edit this, and then edit it, as soon as you click out of the box after you've uh, typed that information in there, it will automatically update as long as iRacing is up and running. Uh, since it's not, that's not going to show up, unfortunately. Uh, then, of course, your different buttons, uh, different flag triggers. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that should let you uh, get up and running. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Uh, that's it. iBog.co. Thank you and have a great day.